Hello, my name is Yannick Kaden and I will talk about the Thermagni Challenge, a competition to benchmark motion prediction approaches using the Thermagni dataset. First, I want to briefly introduce myself. I currently work as a research assistant at the Technical University of Chemnitz and I am interested in UWB technology. In the next few minutes, I will discuss the technical background and motivation of our challenge, how we have implemented it, and of course, how you can participate. Perhaps this will also inspire you to realize your own challenge using a similar approach. So, what is the motivation behind the challenge? As you have just heard, the multimodal Thermagni dataset was introduced. We want to encourage researchers to explore the new features of this dataset. We also want to drive forward the development and improvement of methods for long-term human motion prediction. But creating and comparing new state-of-the-art motion prediction approaches is difficult. This is why we have created this challenge. It provides a platform to compare new methods with state-of-the-art approaches by other researchers in a leaderboard. What were the requirements for the challenge platform? Firstly, the creating and the hosting of a challenge has to be free of charge. There has to be a website to host a live leaderboard, as I have just mentioned before. We also need automated scoring of the submissions to reduce the effort for the team that is hosting the challenge and it has to be easy to use for the participants and of course also for the hosting team to get the challenge running. At first we considered two platforms, Kaggle and Evil AI. Kaggle, it is the most famous platform to host data science competitions. It provides everything we need, but unfortunately hosting challenges is not free of charge if there are non-university institutions involved. This is why we have decided against Kaggle. Then there is Evil AI, an open source platform for evaluating and comparing machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms. It is very feature rich. It is free to use and provides a live leaderboard, but it has a steep learning curve for the developers who are creating challenges. In contrast to Kaggle, Evil AI has a rather small team of developers behind it, which is why it can sometimes take a bit longer for them to respond to issues, as we have noticed. So, we looked for an alternative and came across GitHub as a promising platform to host our challenge. In the end, we used different parts of GitHub. Firstly, github.com as the host platform. GitHub Actions as the so-called workers that automatically score the submissions and then update the leaderboard data. And GitHub Pages to host this leaderboard. Here you can see the structure of the challenge platform that we have created. And after explaining this, I will show you how to make a submission. Firstly, we have the challenge repository. The user has to fork this repository and clone it into their own local workspace. After implementing the methods and training them on the dataset, the predictions have to be saved in the .npy format. On the bottom of this slide, you can see the link to a GitHub repository to get you started with this. It also contains detailed information about the required structure of this NPY file. Following that, information about the team, like the team name and the name of the used method, will be added to the predictions in the so-called packing step. To test the resulting score, you can use the challenge processing script to generate a test leaderboard entry. Then the submission.npy file has to be committed and pushed to the own fork of this repository. To submit in the end, 
a new pull request to the challenge branch of the repository has to be opened containing only the submission.npy file. We will then check the submission and accept the pull request. Now I will guide you through the process of making a submission. Here you can see the fork of the challenge repository that I have cloned into my local workspace. On the left hand side you can see my predictions file that I have added already. It's called cvm underscore predictions.npy. So the first step would be to adapt the config.ini file to the information about my team. So I just call the team name sample team, the method sample method, and I have to change the predictions file to cvm underscore predictions.npy. Now I have to pack my submission, calling python and package submission.py and you can see that the submission file was created successfully and I see it on the left hand side that inside the submissions folder is the new submissions.npy file. Before submitting it I can check if everything is working correctly by calling python and challenge processing script and I will see if everything is working correctly and I can also check the score by going into board underscore entry dot JSON and I will see that everything is working fine and the total FDE of my submission will be 2.4 and now I can commit the submissions.npy file and push it to my fork. Now looking at my forked repository at github.com, I can now use the contribute function to open a pull request to the challenge repository. And I can see that I have only one file changed. It is the submission.npy file. And really important is to select the challenge branch inside the original base repository. And now I can create the pull request, add a title and submit. I hope that you are now interested in participating in our challenge and thank you for listening.